I want to talk about my weight loss and what I've been doing. Join me. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Michelle from Mascara to Midnight. If you're not a subscriber, take just a moment to subscribe. I'm going to do weight loss this year because I am losing weight, but I'm going to do makeup, skincare, hair, nails, fashion, funny, exciting, chaotic. You won't want to miss a minute of it. Just take a moment to subscribe. And for all my regular viewers, thank you so much for joining me today. Last year, I tried to lose some of this weight and it was mostly a failure. I gained and lost and gained and lost, but mostly gained. We got moved over to Lafayette. Things calmed down in our lives and I decided to take a serious approach to weight loss. And now I'm gonna to talk to you about exactly what I've done to lose the weight. But first, let me give you some numbers. November 16th, so basically two and a half months ago, I weighed 180 pounds even, 180 pounds. When I first started trying to lose weight, I was up around 210. So I had lost some weight. I just wasn't able to, you know, to stay focused. You know how it goes. You kind of lose your motivation. You lose your willpower. You lose time. Uh, uh, and it just falls apart. Well, that's what had happened to me. So I was back up to 180. And I do say back up because I had lost below 180. Back up to 180, November 16th. And as of today, January 29th, so almost two months and two weeks, I was down 16 pounds. Basically, I'm losing two pounds a week. And everyone always says, how are you doing it? What are you doing? I went to a weight loss doctor and I said, I'm struggling to lose weight. I can't stay motivated. Is there anything you can do to help me? You know, what's the protocol? And he prescribed me 37 milligrams of phenamine. Phenamine is not Finfen that got taken off the market a while back. It is an appetite suppressant that does give you energy. It does have kind of a caffeinated effect on your body because if you take too much, you do get jittery. But there are some unique things that I found about phenamine. First of all, my doctor said start taking it in quarters and then halves and then wholes. And the reason you want to do that is because it stops working. But when the quarter tablet no longer gives you energy, it's no longer helping you to suppress your appetite, then you move up to a half. And when the half no longer does it, you move up to a whole. And when the whole no longer does it, I don't really know what to do then because that's where I'm at. After two and a half months, it's already not working anywhere near as good as it was working in the beginning. Something that I found so unique about phenamine is that before I started taking it, I was obsessed with food. If my kids were having candy bars, it took every ounce of willpower and usually I didn't have enough and I would just eat whatever they were eating and then that would, I'd move on to ice cream and then, you know, I'd need to go get a soda and some chips and just, it was constant all the time focusing on food and when I was gonna eat and what I was gonna eat and I would start every morning doing really good. Today I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna stick my 1200 calories, and I'd get up to you know 600 calories, and then I'd have something that's 600 calories, and I'd be like, forget it, I'll start again tomorrow. And the first day when I took my phenamine, the obsession was gone. The desire to eat constantly was gone. I mean, there was chocolate, there was you know my favorite foods around, and the kids were eating them. One of my favorite things is cereal. And I didn't want them. I didn't think about it. It was not hard to say no to them. And it blew my mind. Because it is literally what I needed to get over that hump of not having any willpower, not having any ambition. You know, I just needed help. And that is exactly what it gave me. I stayed hungry. It didn't make me not be hungry, but it just took away my cravings for the wrong types of food. I was eating grapes instead of a candy bar and felt good about it. It was easy to stay within my calorie range because even though I was hungry, I wasn't obsessed. So even though I'm to the point where it's not working as good as it was, I've already instilled the habits that are going to continue to help me to succeed. And that's really what you've got to get, got to do that before the, the medicine stops working. Another thing that's really great about it is it does give you energy. You do have energy where you might sit on the couch all day and just kind of drag around. You finally feel like cleaning the house and organizing a room. And it's not like you've drank 20 cups of coffee. You just have more inner, you feel like what you should feel like without the weight. You know how the weight just makes you so tired? You feel normal. You feel like what you used to feel like before you gained the weight. So it's not like you're taking some horrible medication that's speeding you up. It, you just have a normal amount of energy to do things. So when you go for a walk, 
you're not dead tired when you're done because you literally have the energy to do that. One slight warning is you don't want to take your medication too late in the day because it will keep you up at night. The only side effect I've had from it is dry mouth. I'm very thirsty and I have a very dry mouth all the time. It kind of gives me a gross taste in my mouth, but it does help me to drink more water, which also helps me to be full longer. Now I'm going to show you my pictures, not my 210 pound pictures, but my 180 pound pictures from November. Now I'm kind of stuck at 164, 165. I keep fluctuating back and forth, back and forth. So starting this week, starting right now, today, tomorrow, yesterday, I'm gonna work really hard to stay within my calorie range. And I'm also gonna do a little more exercising than what I've been doing. I'll list a video for you here where I've gotten some new workout gear and that's helping me to feel encouraged to work out. This month I'd like to lose another eight pounds, so we'll see. If you're trying to lose weight, I would love for you to talk to me in the comments. Tell me what you're doing, what's working, what's working for you, what hasn't worked for you. And you know, if you have any questions about this, I'm happy to answer. I have done some research. I'm not a doctor, but I have done some research and I can probably answer some of your questions and I'm happy to try. And I'm gonna go have a date with my husband and we're gonna have Chick-fil-A and I'm gonna have one of those wraps. Those things are delicious. I'll see you soon.